This video will guide you through the installation of Cardinal Scale Manufacturing's EWM Series Truck Scale. The EWM Series is manufactured specifically for non-North American installations and is designed to break down into smaller components that can fit into open top cargo containers. The EWM arrives on site bolted to its shipping mount that's specifically crafted for the tight fit of a container shipment. The weighbridge sections are divided in half lengthwise, and each half must be unbolted from the shipping mount before being removed. Once the halves are free of their cradle, use a crane to maneuver them into place alongside each other. Begin with the first weighbridge, which is identified as the end piece with bumper bolt attachments on one end and a support block edge on the other. It is imperative that the weighbridges are connected in the proper sequence as there is a correct order to their layout. Be certain you have the correct halves paired and that each section is on the correct side of the intermediate weighbridge. The intermediate weighbridge is identified by the large access panel located at its midsection. Place one of the halves of the first weighbridge onto blocks using a crane and then maneuver the second half with the crane into proper alignment. Once the two halves are aligned, the cross beams that meet one another in the middle must be bolted together using the supplied connector bolts. There are two bolts for every cross beam and three for the end cross members. Once all of these bolts are secure, lower the fully connected weighbridge onto the blocks and proceed to the two remaining weighbridges, repeating the procedure. Once all of the halves are bolted together, it is time to fit all the sections together into one continuous weighbridge. The connecting ends of the weighbridges have either a receiver cup or support block lip, which are made to fit snugly into each other. Once the weighbridges are in the correct sequence and properly fitted together, it is time to install the load cells and their stands. Cardinal's EWM truck scale is compatible with three stainless steel load cell types, electronic DB double-ended shear beam with double-link suspension, electronic SCA compression, and the hydraulic SST series. All of these load cells are manufactured in Cardinal's state-of-the-art load cell facility in the United States. Start by installing leveling screws in each corner of all of the grout plates. Once the leveling screws have been installed in the grout plate, place the first grout plate at the proper position on the foundation. Place the remaining grout plates at their respective locations. Use a level to check the condition of each grout plate. If the bubble in the level is not within the two center marks, use the leveling screws to adjust the grout plate until a level condition in both directions is achieved. Once the grout plates are level, you can proceed with the installation of the load cells. Place an SCA compression load cell onto each grout plate. It is helpful to position the side of the load cell where the cable connects to face the conduit pipe inside of the load cell compartment. Next, the cables must be run through the conduit piping to the junction box at the center of the intermediate way bridge. If you are using fish tape, it is recommended that you first fish a length from the load cell to the junction box and connect it to a second line, which is pulled back to the load cell before finally attaching the load cell cable and running it. Doing it in this way eliminates the possibility of hanging up on any snags in the system from running the cable through by itself. Be sure to run the cable through the conduit hose first before running it through the embedded conduit pipes that are attached to the weighbridges. Once the cables are run through to the junction box compartment, it is recommended to spool them up neatly so they can be stored easier beneath the junction box and other components. Complete the installation of the load cells by connecting them to their respective printed circuit boards or PCBs. It is recommended to install the small metal cover that fits snugly over the home run cable hole in the junction box panel. It will better protect the system and helps to organize the cables easier. Next, connect the home run cable that runs from the junction box to the trim box that provides interface for the weight indicator. Once all of the wires are correctly connected, it is time to lower the weight bridge from the blocks onto the load cells. To do this, use jacks to raise the scale off the blocks with just enough clearance to rest them onto the load cells. Be sure to lower the scale carefully onto the load cells as some shifting can occur. It is important to make sure the load cells stay firmly in place and are perfectly centered on the load cell blocks of the weigh bridge. Now that the scale is resting completely on the load cells, it is time to test the millivolt output of the load cells to see if any adjustments need to be made to the height of the load cell stands. 
Each pair of load cell stands should be within approximately one millivolt of each other, and the intermediate weigh bridge will have a higher number as it is taking the majority of the scale's weight. If any adjustments are necessary, simply raise or lower the load cell stands using the leveling screws. It may be necessary to use the jacks again to raise that side of the weigh bridge if the pressure is too great. Once leveling is complete and the numbers are in tolerable range of operation, it is then time to drop the panels into place over the midline of the scale and its access points. Be sure to follow the diagram on the blueprints detailing which panels go where as they are not all uniform. Take extra care to note which of the panels are atypical since they have a unique location on the weigh bridge and their correct placement is imperative for proper setup. Once the panels are in place, the check rods and bumper bolts may be added. To install the check rods, secure the bridge mount to the side of the weigh bridge using the supplied bolts. The foundation mount should be installed a proper distance from the bridge mount, leaving an adequate amount of space for the check rod. Be sure to use the supplied washers and bolts with the check rods to ensure that they function properly and to protect against wear and tear on your scale. Verify that all of the grout plates are level in both directions and that all of the load cell outputs have been properly adjusted. Then install grout forms or dams around each load cell grout plate. It is a good idea to caulk the bottom of the forms, not only to hold them in place, but also to prevent any leakage of grout onto the surrounding foundation. Use a good non-shrinking grout. Pour enough grout so that it fills the grout form and flows fully beneath the grout plate. Using a funnel to pour the grout into the form is helpful and avoids spillage onto the load cell, weigh bridge, or surrounding foundation. Vibration of the grout plate helps the grout to flow smoothly and evenly, eliminating voids and ensuring that the full load-bearing capacity is achieved. Allow the grout to cure overnight before placing a load on the scale. To calibrate the scale, first remove the plate in the trim box that sits over the adjustment pots. This exposes the jumpers on the circuit board. These jumpers correspond to the number of load cells of the scale and must be toggled on or off. Be sure to set the jumpers for all pots that have connected load cells and then replace the cover plate. Rotating the pot adjustment screws clockwise will increase the signal of that load cell, while a counterclockwise rotation will lower the signal. Using test weights and a connected cardinal weight indicator, calibrate the load cell pairs to an acceptable tolerance and then the section midpoints to an acceptable tolerance. Once calibrated, your scale is ready for operation. If your scale was ordered with any additional features, such as guide rails, they may now be installed. There are no bolts or screws necessary. Simply slide the guide rails into place on either side of each weighbridge section in the prefabricated brackets especially made for the rails. These brackets are standard on cardinal weighbridges so that guide rails may be installed at any time. When it comes to transporting a truck scale anywhere in the world, Cardinal's EWM containerized truck scale is the best choice with its unique bisectional design and reliable USA-made construction. For more information about Cardinal's EWM truck scales, please call 1-800-441-4237 or visit us online at www.cardinalscale.com. Cardinal Scale, building a better way since 1950.